Hello fellow Odoers and welcome back. Now that we have seen how to manage our budget and keep track of a project's costs and revenues, it's time to learn how to add and manage our expenses, a critical topic in budget management. Expenses must be monitored to avoid overspending and to ensure successful and profitable projects. That's why when an employee travels on-site to a customer, for example, the transportation cost is reinvoiced to the customer. Of course, we make sure to add that expense to the cost and profitability calculations on the project. All right, let's see how to do this in Odoo. As always, we'll start in the main dashboard. Now, before we go to the expenses, we need to make sure we turn on a few settings. The first setting will be in accounting. Now, the way you can link an expense to a project is with what we call an analytic account. It's an accounting functionality, but essentially what's important to note is that every project will have a corresponding analytic account typically the same name of the project. However, an account can also not be a project, but that's not important for today. So we have Anik Accounting turned on, great. Next, we need to go to our project. In this instance, we want to assign all of our expenses, particularly to the office design. So if we go to the three dots and edit, we need to make sure that under settings, it is billable. So that way we can select it and re-invoice. In this instance, we're not going to, but save it, good to go. Now we can go to the expense module. So if I type expenses from the main dashboard, it'll take us to the menu and we can see all the different expenses here. We won't go into too much detail as another video will cover it, but we'll show how to link it to a project. Now under configuration settings, we can see that we can set up a inbox, an email alias that we have to send an email to that will then create the expense. Now in this instance, we want to work on our food and beverage where what we really care about is the internal reference, which will be used by the email to tag this product. Well, now that we have that ready to go, let's go see how to email that in. Here we go, it's all ready to go. Food of 70, we'll add a dollar sign there, and we have a receipt as well. So let's send that in. So let's go see what it looks like in Odoo. Now we'll go to our expenses module. My expenses and all my expenses, remove the filter, and now we see food for 70. Now what we want to do is make sure we attach the analytic account, the office design, and save and create the report. We have to go through the motion of approving everything because an analytic account will actually not be linked to a project until an expense, or sorry, a journal entry is created. So create report. Make sure we have the right amount. Don't forget these things, Richard. Create. Submit to the manager, approve it. All right, we will approve, that's okay. And post journal entries. Now that everything is said and done, if we go to our project module, the office design and project updates, we should have an expense section right there. You open it with expense, you can see that Abigail has twice sent the, a very similar expense, probably took the client to the same place twice, they really like it there. So it's all linked. You also see it as part of the gross margin. There it is, a negative value uh, indicating that is a expense reducing the total all overall budget of the project. Now, hopefully this is a lot more clear for you and how to link expenses to the project module. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. And as always, stay awesome.